Hey guys, this is Coach Chris. Welcome to my channel where we break down international level fights for strategies and tactics that you can use in your own matches. Today we're watching Yunta from Spain against Jun Jang from Korea. I have not yet watched this before. I fast forward a little bit uh, to see some snips to see if it's a blowout. It was not a blowout. It seemed like a close fight. So let's get into it. Yunta has, uh, from what I remember, it's a really tight little cut kick and Jun Jang being from Korea. A killer left leg from what I remember. Both both sides. Nice punch. No score though. I think this is before the rule change, so keep that in mind. I'm trying to find more for after the rule change, but so far nothing yet's really surfaced. If you guys have playlists, please let me know. Okay, punch for Korea, none for Spain. Interesting. <gasps> Why'd you cut it right there? Not as good as three points. Okay. Good aggression here out of Yunda. Both sides. Hold up. How did that score? All right. Well, good job using that back leg. I was going to say both, both sides here um, using aggression, but changing targets quite frequently. Uh, yeah, a lot of target change. I like, I really like the pressure here and trying to set up that punch. So a lot of Yunta's game right now, I mean, Jin Jang is very diverse. He has a lot of counters for a lot of situations. Um, it looks like a lot of the pattern he's setting up is just with that front leg and mixing that up with that, uh, with a slide and punch, which isn't a bad idea. Gives two looks. Um, if, if he tries to stand there and defend in place against that front leg, Standing in there and eating a punch is not a good answer. So good job by Yunta burying that up. Changing targets. Good job by Jin Jing there trying to get the punch. It's almost just like a brawl. I feel like it's very much just a brawl. It's almost, oh, nice. Very nice. I'd say this is a little bit more reactionary. Maybe just as a punishment against, uh, J wow, creaming him now. Um, good punishment against Jin Jing's aggression here was this nice little headshot. Boom. And then the follow-up to the body right away because Jin Jang's pressing the fight. Not a bad idea. Great coverage. Baby punch? No punch. No punch going up. Okay. Understandable. Jin Jang does not want to lose this first round, obviously, so we can see a lot of press here. Oh my gosh, this guy's this guy's eyeball face is phenomenal. Phenomenal, phenomenal, great technique overall. I like that he isn't just rolling over, he's not just sitting on the lead too. Good job here by Yunta, um, pushing the fight to him. Cover, body cover, oh, okay. Oh, gotta cover the body. Jin Jang's a great spin. Makes it kind of close, it's two points. Card, understandable card time because this is you're about to lose first round after being up by eight points. Yeah, I was gonna say we're gonna see some aggression right here. You can take a fight forward. I would. Oh, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Jun Jang, never say die. That's really unfortunate. Really unfortunate by Yunta. I was going to say, I mean, something he could have done. This guy doesn't look like he's sweating at all. What's stamina? Um, something that was really working well was him sitting back and just getting out of distance a little bit and shooting to the face. Uh, I think that implementing that, obviously, like up, you're, when you're down, or you you notice that he's bringing the fight to you. That's never a good position to be internationally. You want to always be the one dictating for the most part. 
Uh, and so I think that that was the call. Is like you need to get back in this fight. Don't let him come to you. Even though, um, you know, in in retrospect, that's where he scored the majority of the points. Jung Jang bringing the pressure. Um, Yun Tae being just out of the way, hitting the face, and then uh, falling up here to the body, following following the pressure. You know, so playing defense in this situation may not have been a bad idea. That was uh, not bad. I think the danger, though, is because now that they know the front leg is the defense and that's what's scoring, it's going to be easier for Jing Jing to throw one kick, motion like he's going forward, and throw a back kick underneath. Um, I mean, that's a four for potentially zero because if they know it's coming, he just ducks his head while he does a back kick against your potential front leg. Uh, so that, that makes it a little bit more dangerous now going in the second round. Um, it's just, yeah, there's not too much to go off on the first round because a lot of it was Jin Jang pressing the fight to you. The fight up, good job. Back leg, back left, nope. Face. Nice. Uh, nice by Yunta. Watch Jun Yun up. Watch the left leg from Jun. Watch the left. Watch the left. Good stuff. Cut. Cut. Cut face. Cut face. Okay. Never mind. He got out of the corner. Jun Jun's going for punch, maybe? Oh, I would have got scored on. I did get scored on. So I was the one. I thought Jun Jun was going for a punch. Um, that was good faking on his part, especially after the, all that little high tension. Going for a punch to kind of reset it is, I don't know, in my gut feel, that's where I felt it was going. Good job by Jin Jang here to bait that out. Get that back kick in there. Okay, we got the grabbing call, so fighting on even. Don't need to go right away. It's okay. Chill. Chill for a sec. Chill for a sec. Let him come to you. Nice front hand. Oh, come on. You guys give that to look back. That was a great front hand punch by Yunta here. Nice job. That was that was clean. Good good work by Yunta here. No. I went for this. Was that spin even on the right side? I don't imagine. Maybe you saw the back leg and thought it was to the body, but even even the spin though was like. It would have been half a second short, so I'm not. I think that was a late reaction bailout move. Only lost a point, which is pretty lucky. Oof! That's not how you want to start the last minute. Cut right into the back leg. That's unfortunate. Uh, good job by Jin Jackson. Like, I mean, getting those points. Okay. Oh no. Oh, it's slipping away. Slipping away here. Card? No card? No no uh, no card. Maybe he lost it. Punch? Oh, okay. Not bad. Okay, so you're thirty seconds down, what do we do here? If I'm in Utah's position, where am I getting scored on? You're getting scored on. Um, one was a spin kick, some stuff to the body. I feel like my initial reactions are to increase the footwork a little bit in and out and then um, go for headshots. Like, you have to force the in and out so that way Jun Jang misses and then try for a headshot. I, that's, that's where Jun Jang seemed to be open. Um, and then you have to mix that up with shut, that little shuttle step and then a punch. That's personally how I would try and handle this last 30 seconds. Because Jun Jang bringing the fight, uh, that's where you're getting scored on, so you don't want that had to happen. Where did you score most of your points? You scored most of your points on defense. So you need him to miss. You you can get people to miss easier if you're if you're changing distance on them frequently. Those are my those are my thoughts. So maybe. Jun Jang not letting up the pressure though. It seems like he's still very much the one dictating the pace of the match. Yun is trying to hold on and trying to get back into the pace of the match, but not isn't able to get around it. Oh, Hold up, did he score? Oh! Keep the point. Let him keep the point. They're gonna contest it for sure, but let him keep the point. Did they keep it? Yes, good fight. Okay. Okay, Yins is already going, so I can't say anything. Oh my god. 
Throw that right, and then right face. Yep, nice try. Put it down. Again. Again, X. Switch to a punch. No, no, no. Oh, okay. okay. Um, so back here, I was saying switch to a punch. Um, like, you can do an Iranian kind of thing into there. But right here, he fell over. So obviously, don't do it. Good job, Nachez. Lord! This is a good sequence. Boom. And then he looked at this. Uh, he looked and Yunto. What happened here? Yunto is not ready for that up ball. Um, I mean, Yunto is kind of in a, in a go forward blitz only mode. So I can kind of see that. And this is why. Uh, so if you guys are leading matches, then it's really important. This is a good lesson from Jin Jang, actually. So if you guys are the one leading the match and you're ahead and there's seven seven seconds left um i recommend maintaining the offensive posture that's how Jinta right now is moving and scoring points you don't want to do that you want to be the one dictating the match still so i would even if you're not actually gonna attack pretend at least you're going to go attack so that way it keeps them a little bit off guard and throw face kicks because what else are they gonna do they're gonna slide back i mean they could that's gonna eat some time just keep yourself covered but if you throw a short face kick they're probably gonna run into it That was really close. Junta needs to score. Um, yep. Double? Okay. If these guys had double kicks, that would be so solid. Ah, he got his foot on there. Great, great match. Holy cow, this is close. So, good job both sides. Obviously, you, these are both high, high caliber fighters. Um, what I would say to take away from this is... For Junta, I mean... You, you, you scored some great stuff, stuff on defense... I understand that internationally you want to be pushing the pace of the match. You don't want to let the person come at you as an offense because then it allows them to build offense against your defense. So I understand you coming back in. I think handling, obviously handling the last end of that first round could have been handled maybe slightly better, uh, maybe slightly more footwork, may have thrown Jin Jang a little bit off. Second round, good job pressing. But when you are pressing, keep in mind that your opponent can still attack you. I mean, those sound obvious and it's hard to do. Um, but you just got to set up drills where, okay, you're down by two points. Um, your opponent can do whatever, but you're down by two points. How are you going to handle the situation? And then if you put yourself in that situation multiple times, you'll have a better idea of what you're good at scoring with, what you're not so good with scoring it. Um, and if your training partner is good, they're going to throw a variety of different defenses that you can train against that. Great fight by these two. Um, it, it is, it's, I, I was going to kind of go into this little rant, but it's a little bit harder for me to, uh, break down all the strategies being used because there's such a hard reset between rounds, right? You, the one round doesn't build into the next as much as it, it did before because it's like you're going into this next round with you know a little bit less. Um, you're going into the next round with uh, with a flat score, so you know the tilt of one direction or the other isn't as big, and so you're allowed to. I guess with the with the new scoring system, you're allowed to be a little bit more randomized. It doesn't have to be as quite as systemic. I think that this one. There's some good girl, good brawls going on. Jin Jang, both of them, since they've probably fought each other a lot, it's a lot of uh, impromptu counters against each other. Like, he threw this. He generally has that, so he's going to throw this. Whereas um, a lot of matches – no, I wouldn't say a lot. I'd say some matches you watch, and there's a theoretical adaptation of the strategy you can see build between the rounds. This one, um, I felt there's a little bit of that, but not quite as many as others. So, anyway, thank you guys for joining me today, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.